afternoon. Welcome to today's video. It's Sunday. It's kind of hot again. I think it's going to be kind of a Sunday spin today. Short term goals are just to do a little over 30 miles and uh, wrap up the Le Call by Wiggins challenge on Strava. in the cards today rest day tomorrow long-term goals are going pretty well a little more weight loss for the long-term goals I haven't really put together a real structure for what I want that goal to be I'll probably start to kind of formalize those goals but to give you a little background on where I'm coming from fake raccoon noises scare away birds the blueberry fields I first got a road bike in 1991 just to get fit and to have something to do. I always kind of liked watching Perry Roubaix and little snippets of Tour de France they'd show like half an hour a day on ESPN or whatnot. I got into racing. I got it to a Cat 3. Uh, I was living in Southern California then. Spent most of my time riding around Thousand Oaks, Ventura County. The terrain there with the Santa Monica Mountains is really rolling so I was actually, I was pretty lean and I was actually a decent climber then. Uh, I think my race weight was around 165, 168, around there. I'll put in a picture here I have from a road race I did in uh, 92 or 93 at uh, Pyramid Lake, just north of uh, Magic Mountain. Yeah, I'd like to get that skinny again, but uh, <laughs> after the mid 90s, about 96, 97, I started doing more uh, graphic design work and uh, started sitting behind a desk a lot more and got really unfit and nearly sick. So in uh, 2013, I went out and got a new bike and started riding a lot again and really enjoying it. By the next year, by 2014, I started doing a few races here in Portland. Not that great a result. I got a few top 10 sprinting at PIR, so, you know, not terrible. And since then, I've been a couple of years where I've still been riding, but you know, your body kind of gets used to riding. And so, doing rides that I probably haven't really been burning a lot of calories. And so the weight's crept up. I like to at least get down close to 200. So if I can get under 200 by October, the end of October, it might be kind of an ambitious goal. We'll see. to achieve this goal. On the bike, it's just trying to ride more. So going from five to seven hours a week to hopefully like 10, 12 hours a week, adding some more high intensity workouts to it. So GCN has a series of videos recently about how to kind of build fitness quickly. So I'm kind of using those as a little bit of a rough guide. I'll link to those below. But to be honest, the biggest thing is counting calories literally having to restrict calories on days that I'm either not doing a hard workout or is a rest day, and then just fueling for rides on days that I do ride. I am notorious for being able to just snack all evening. Those calories can add up really quickly, and I think that's probably where a lot of my problem has been. Just slowly chipping away at it then, there will be more long days on the bike. So if you have any tips or I think if you've gone through this experience and uh, you know you have any suggestions, please go ahead and make them in the comments below. Um, and if you have any questions, uh, if you're trying to do the same thing as I do, uh, I'd like this to be some kind of a guide that can help you know people get fit, uh, either back to a shape they were, or if they're just getting in shape, getting fit through cycling, uh, you know, they can maybe find uh, this at least a little bit informative and interesting.
Ironman done. 35 miles. Got the LaCol by Wiggins challenge done. It's hot, but I didn't feel that bad out in the heat today. I think I'm finally getting acclimatized to it a little bit. So by now a lot of you have probably seen the video on Lawrence Carpenter's channel where I was able to take some time and show him around Portland. It was definitely one of the impetuses for starting this channel. So I hope it's entertaining, informative. All right, I guess that does it. Talk to you guys later.